Welcome to Soothing Tea Talks. Soothing Tea Talks is a little bit different because we have these brief conversations over tea. Today it's iced tea, usually it'll be hot tea. But the idea for these videos came from my little notes given to me from the tea bags in which I use. Um, I use Yogi Tea, or I drink Yogi Tea rather, and they have these little notes that I keep, these note tags in here, and I'll just pick one and we'll have a conversation about it. So if you find the info from the convo, you know, valuable, I'd like you to like it. Um, also, if you can subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so that every time new videos drop, you'll be the first to see them. So let's get ready to have a soothing talk over tea. So tag today from Yogi reads happiness is actually an art of living which is in us so when I read this it reminds me of a couple of conversations that I've had with several clients about happiness you know a lot of times we think that happiness is something that we get from something or someone other than ourselves and to be very honest, it's not. That's a fallacy. Happiness comes from within. You have to really do some serious soul searching to figure out what makes you happy. Because a lot of times, even in my own life, I was thinking, oh, well, when I finish this degree, I'm going to be happy. Or when I get that job, I'm going to be happy. Or I was expecting my husband to make me happy. And these things don't happen. I mean, there were many a times where, you know, I'm at, I, I have, you know, currently five degrees and I am working toward my sixth and final one. And along with that, there are a lot of certifications and other things that I have, you know, over the years achieved. And I recall every time thinking I'm gonna cross this stage and I'm gonna feel this uh, happiness. And it didn't happen. And I remember talking to my sister about it, like, you know, you go through this and you're, well, why am I not happy? So at first I thought, well, maybe it's because, you know, I'm not in a place where I can now, you know, use this degree to get what, I wanted, you know, financially, you know, like it be parallel to some sort of job or income or career. My path was a lot different. I was building a brand. I was building, you know, a business. I was doing things that weren't the norm. So it was a little different for me. So I thought at one point that's what it was. But come to find out, it's not that. It, it was because I'm looking for things to make me happy. Things don't make you happy. You make you happy. Um, I know it's a very hard concept to understand because we just are programmed to think that it comes from somewhere else and it doesn't. Um, you have to sit down and ask yourself some really serious questions. And I say serious because, you know, a lot of times we take ourselves for granted. We're so busy doing things for others that we don't do the work for us within ourselves. So you have to ask yourself, 
what is actually going to make me happy? And if you're honest, the things that you write or the things that you come up with, you're going to realize that those things come for you, from you and you alone. You know, one of the things, and I'll discuss it in other videos, you know, when I'm focusing on health and wellness, it had to do with, you know, me losing weight. That was a me thing. You know, I have finally been successful at that and that made me happy. I think out of all of the things that I have done in my life, all of my accomplishments, I think not for nothing, losing weight was the most challenging. And it's crazy because like I said, I have several degrees. I've gone through several, you know, certifications and losing weight was the hardest thing to date that I had to do because it had to do with me, me alone. It had to do with discipline. It had to do with commitment. And a lot of times we can commit to things, but when it comes to ourselves, we kind of kind of sell ourselves short. So that was something that I had to deal with. So that was something that made me happy, that accomplishment. Again, it did not come from my husband. It didn't come from a thing. It didn't come from, you know, obtaining some sort of degree. It came from me. Uh, another thing was when we're going through something, happiness comes from not the end product, but the journey. And that's too something hard to wrap your head around because an example of this would be, okay, you're getting this degree. It's one course at a time, one, one, one class at a time, one grade at a time, and then eventually you, you know, accumulate all your credits and then you do what you have to do and it's time for graduation. If the journey is not pleasant, you're not going to be happy at the end. And I have seen this time and time again. I am uh, miserable during the journey, whatever it be. So at the end, when you achieve whatever that goal is or whether the, whatever is, is, you know, whatever that accolade is, whatever the achievement is, when you get there, there is no happiness because the journey wasn't happy. So I think that is what is meant by the art of living, which is in us. Living is the journey. Living is the day to day. Living is the, you know, moments. So I think that we should, you know, this is a sip, this is a sip and soothe and reflect moment where we should really jump in our journals or take a moment and really think about what's going to make you happy. Um, I'd like you to feel free to comment and let me know what's making you happy this morning or this evening, um, depending on what time zone you're in. Um, I also think, you know, that we should figure out if happiness is something that we can really wrap our head around. Really understand that it's nobody but you, you know, that can do that. So comment, put those things in the comments, um, write about it. You can also DM me about it. And if you feel like, you know, you want to really and truly do something for yourself in this quarter, let that be one of your focal points what and ask yourself that every day what actually makes me happy you will be surprised a lot of times you may think they're big things and they're not big things and they're things that you control so you can do a little something for yourself so that you can be happy every day so think about that 
If you find what I'm saying is valuable, I'd like you to like this video. I'd also like to remind you to subscribe to the channel. Um, my alarm went off, so that means that it's time to get up and get out and get ready for the day. And I hope that this meets you uh, productive. I hope that you and wish that you have efficiency in your day and that you achieve everything that's on your task list because those are the small things that we set out to do and I hope that you achieve that. So until our next tea time, I, I challenge you to find what makes you happy because according to the tea tag, it's already inside of us. So let's get happy. Until next time, enjoy your tea and I will see you soon.